Welcome to Roadfly TV, your latest automotive fix from Roadfly.com. The Mini Cooper is all new for 2007, but you'll need a microscope and a fine tooth comb to find out what's been changed. Fortunately for Mini Faithful, parent company BMW decided to preserve the car's classic appearance and leave its character essentially the same. Iconic cult cars like the Mini live in constant peril, just one executive goof up away from losing all that makes them special. Many a classic car's quirky appeal has been sacrificed on the altar of luring a few Consumer Reports readers into the fold, with promises of something for everyone. Luckily, BMW is one of the car industry's great iconoclasts, so the Mini has soldiered on through its first redesign without a hint of dilution. This reworking is the essence of evolution, not revolution. So we'll start on the outside. 2007 brings a slight increase in the Mini's dimensions. It is almost two and a half inches longer and the belt line has risen slightly. The front of the new Mini has been substantially but subtly revised, with turn signals integrated into the headlight assembly and the headlights themselves move towards the corners of the car. The Mini's interior has also been subtly refined. BMW's first Mini was no slouch in the area of appointments, but the new model benefits from even higher quality seat leather, as well as a generally higher standard for switches and surfaces. For such a small car, headroom and legroom are outstanding, even for drivers standing six feet and above. This is mostly due to the Mini's new center console, which has been slimmed down substantially, making the footwells roomier. The Mini's cabin is still delightfully quirky, with an even bigger center-mounted speedometer than last year. In a neat design touch that we think epitomizes BMW's functional yet fashionable approach to the Mini, the speedometer's face actually houses the screen for the optional navigation system. Both standard and S models get new engines and transmissions. The old Chrysler-derived motors positively wheezed in comparison to these smooth new mills developed with the help of experienced small car maker Peugeot. The base 1.6 makes 118 horsepower and 118 pound-feet of torque, an increase of 3 and 8 respectively. The S motor now makes 175 horsepower, 5 more than last year, and the power peak has been lowered from 6,000 RPM to 5,500 RPM. But the motor is now turbocharged rather than supercharged, which is by far the riskiest change BMW has made to this car. Superchargers provide healthy boosts in both power and torque, but they rob power from the motor itself in order to run. Turbochargers are much more efficient, but can get peaky as power output climbs. To prevent this, and to make the new turbocharged engine feel similar to the old supercharged unit, BMW used a twin scroll turbo. It's certainly not peaky, with peak torque of 177 pound-feet arriving at just 1600 RPM and staying constant until 5000 RPM. We expect that the new Mini, particularly the S model, will become a favorite of the aftermarket tuning community. Cars with original equipment turbos like Volkswagens or Mitsubishis are fabulously easy to tune, while supercharged motors are much more finicky and limited. For 2007, all Minis get six-speed manual transmissions as standard equipment. A six-speed Steptronic automatic is optional and is equipped with paddle shifters mounted on the steering column. Mini no longer offers the continuously variable transmission or the five-speed automatic. All this progress under the hood produced some interesting results at our first drive of the Mini at Arizona's Firebird Raceway. Our fleet of Mini Cooper S models made a full afternoon of drag strip passes at the hands of both journalists and professional racers. We were shocked to see that the Steptronics edged out the manuals by a small but significant margin on nearly every pass. The best quarter mile time for a manual was 14.9 seconds, while the Steptronic pulled off a 14.77. BMW has refined the Mini Cooper without sacrificing a bit of its charm or its telepathic communication with its driver. We expect that the legions of Mini fans, who are probably the most diverse group of owners in the world of car enthusiasm, will buy this little thing in droves. And that will be a valuable lesson indeed to car companies everywhere. If it ain't broke, don't fix it.
Realtorsofreeloadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you.